Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, chill, chill. Should I, sh should I inspect that? Oh my god, look at that. Jill's boobs bounce. I didn't realise. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. We're still looking for um, Wesker and Barry's left us again. So we're going to go back into this room again. For the, for the last time, hopefully. Well, not the last time, but... You know, we'll hopefully find the last thing we need to look for through this corridor. So, last time we went this way, the way she's facing right now. We're going to go up this way again. Oh god, there's a zombie right there. That's the guy that we first encountered. It's locked on the other side. So we need to get past him. I'm still going to save my ammo, I think. You know, because killing this guy, we're not gonna, we've got nothing to gain from killing the zombies. I am not. I don't think they drop ammo. I think they do in Resident Evil 2. But I don't think they do in um, the first one. So we're going to bring him over this side. <laughs> Hopefully give him like a little juke. Right, if he gets, let's hope he doesn't get too close. There we go. And like, look at that. He's got plenty of space right there. So let's get him, get past him down this corridor. Um, oh God, they're all locked. Emblem of armor. Okay, so we've got emblem of armor. Emblem, I think there's a helmet one we found earlier. Maybe a sword one. There's an elevator here. It doesn't look like you can access it from this floor. Okay, so this place is pretty big. If there's uh, multiple floors of um, I can hear a zombie. If there's an elevator shaft required. <laughs> it's a pretty big mansion. Okay, this is locked as well. Emblem of a sword. Okay, when we find an emblem of a sword, like key, we should be able to open quite a few things. Right, the zombie's going to have us um, trapped now, so we probably do need to kill him. Let's hope he's not too close. There he is. Right, I'm going to start shooting him. Nice, he's dropped. Now, he, that doesn't mean he's dead. If we just watch, if he gets... Oh, yeah, he's not dead. So we're going to just get back out of here. We've got no reason to stay in there, really. So I think the way you kind of fight zombies in this is you drop them and just run past them. Sometimes they die if you shoot them enough times when they keep getting up. But quite often, uh, what's this clock? When the two have run each other through, the path to your destination will open. Can I use that? Like, can I... Is that a puzzle? Or do I just have to let time pass? Right, I'm gonna go back into the hall. Check upstairs now. Uh, what's this? We've got a door here. Looks like we're in some kind of courtyard. Outdoors. Saw gravestones everywhere. Bloody hell. It's a bit messy as well. Okay, that's locked from the other side. Okay, everything is locked. <laughs> the thing I like about this game as well is it's not a... Um, a big mission to like save the world. You just these people that have been stranded. They're trying to find each other. All your friends, you know. Okay, you can't carry any more items. Shotgun shells, anyway. I haven't got a shotgun, so I wouldn't be picking that up anyway. So let's um I'm sure there's a chest you can use in this. I'm not sure if that's in the first one or only in Resident Evil 2. What's this? A tomb engraved with the picture of an angel. There's an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. We've got one of them. So, do we have to use it in inventory to put it in? Use. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so we've got somewhere new to go. I mean, I don't really know why we're exploring down here, because obviously Chris or Wesker have not gone this way because it was locked, you know, but still. That's how games work, innit? Can we check these tombstones out? Stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. Stone statue with the holes where the eyes, nose and mouth should be. Can we look at that one? See the, hole, the, the nose is missing on that one. Um, the mouth should be. Okay, do we have to fill them? With stuff that we find? This place is like, operational, isn't it? It's a bit weird. So maybe... Oh my god, that looks like a death trap. <laughs> Can we check this out? Okay, a book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. 
Will you take the Book of Curses? Ah, I don't know. Should I? I suppose it's an item worth having, because it's like a... I suppose you can use it somewhere else. I'm scared now, like I've set a trap off or something. The chain is moving. Where could it lead? Okay. I think that's all we can look at around here. The Book of Curses. That does not sound good, does it? Okay, then. Don't know why I'm looking at, at that. So let's go back up. So I think the whole point of going down there was to find the Book of Curses. Whatever that is used for, I really don't know. Now our inventory is full as well. Actually, we should examine that Book of Curses, see what it says. There might be something inside it we can look at. Is it worth spinning around? Can you... Oh, there's a key there. Oh, is that the sword key, maybe? Hopefully. <laughs> Check it. There's a key embedded on the, back of on the back cover. Will you remove it? Yes. You've got the mansion key. Okay. Book of Curses, the four masks. I miss that mask. Oh, speak no evil, see no, smells no evil, sees no evil. And can't speak, smell, or see evil. Okay. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. That doesn't sound too good, does it? Now that Book of Curses is gone. I wonder if you need to react with, interact, I mean, with um, those books. I mean, those statues. So we've got the mansion key. I'm not too sure what that is used for. Because there are multiple doors that say like, you know, shield, key, I'm sorry, helmet, armor, and sword. Let's examine the key. Mansion key, is that how we do? There's nothing unusual. Right, so what does this do? Maybe we can unlock some doors, hopefully. So let's check upstairs. You use the mansion key, that's good. Hang on, is there a sword engraved on that? Or something? Actually, let's just go for the door. Because we've, we've found a new door to not go through. <laughs> okay. Nothing to look at here. There doesn't seem to be anything useful here. There's nothing useful but a bunch of knickknacks. What, knickknacks? Are they like the crisps? You know, the potato chips? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's check each door as we pass it. That's locked. An emblem of armor. So whatever this key that we've got now is, we need to figure out what emblem that is, you know? That, these ones are armor. God. What's this? You can't carry more items, but what is that? I need to... F oh, God. Now, was there another door there before? Yeah, there's a door here. That's locked from the other side, so once we get to the other side of that door, we can... There we go, this one is unlocked. Something shining on that table, it looks like. You can't carry... Oh, shit. It's a bit of a pain that I can't carry any of these things. I, may... I think I've made a mistake here by picking up like, the ammo and stuff. There are a lot of items that you just, like, can't pick, you know, to carry. It's crazy. Oh, God. Hello. Um, where are we? So, when we find the Emblem of Armor Key, we'll be able to open quite a few doors, it seems. I might have to come back now. Okay, we can go this way. If we need to come back again through this door, we'll have to kill that zombie. Because it's a corridor, and we can't really get around him. Alright, so we've got some um, herbs there. We can't pick anything up, though, which is a bit of a pain. What's that? An unlit fire. What's the thing on the on the fire, on top of it, though? Can't really see that. Okay, that's locked. Helmet. Picture of a partly built mansion. It looks like an awful lot like this one. The one you're in now, excuse me. So... God, there's a lot of, um, like, fiddling around with keys and, you know, backtracking. It's, like, similar to the way Dark... Like, I wonder if Dark Souls got inspired by this, you know, where you need to, like, go back and forward between the same places to um, unlock. Right, let's go downstairs, because I think the zombie's on the other side there. Oh, there's a zombie downstairs as well. Is that the same one? 
I'm not sure if that's the same one. No, it's not. <laughs> um, oh, God. There's no knob on this door. You can't go through. That's the door we came through as well. Shit. Okay. Okay, there's two zombies coming at us now. Let's just shoot this one. Drop him. There we go. I get past him. I want to check this door behind it where he was standing. You unlocked it. Okay, so we've unlocked the door. Uh, this is the door that was locked from the other side. Yeah, so we went through that one. Oh, God. <laughs> he said there was quite a few things that we couldn't pick up back then. You know, like with... Okay, we can't use that one. Um, so... <sighs> trying, to, trying to figure out where to go is a bit... Fiddly, you know. So we're back in the hall. Now there was a locked door on the ground floor. Let me go check that out. I think that one down here. I'm going with there. I'm trying to remember things. Okay, that's locked. That's helmet. Okay. Now I remember this one in here being sword. So if this one unlocks, that means that the key that we've got is the sword key. Which I think it is. Yep. Yeah, so this is definitely the sword key that we've got. What's behind here? I have no clue. I don't know where Barry's gone. Barry's just completely gone AWOL. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, chill, chill. Should I, sh should I inspect that? Oh my god, look at that. Jill's boobs bounce. I didn't realise. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we should save at some point as well, because I haven't saved yet. Ugh. So if I'm going into like unknown territory, and I get, I get swamped. Oh, look at this camera angle. <laughs> Can we check out the map? Is it like... Is it being um, opened up a bit? Yeah. I think red means that the door's locked. Or with that we've tried the door and it's locked on the doors, if you see what I mean. The blue ones are the ones that we've opened. Hmm, it's a strange looking door. It's like a cellar or something, you know, like an old door. And it's a bathroom. It's, oh god, that's that's spooky as hell, that, isn't it? Imagine if a head just popped up through that bathtub. Is there a reason to be in here? It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Yeah, go on. Why not? I'll step back a little bit if I was you. Yeah. Of course. Shit. Um, is there anything to pick up on the, the counter? It's close, isn't he? Bloody hell. Move it away, Jill. Get out the room or something. Why is she just... Okay. <laughs> That's good that she threw up in the toilet, you know, trying to be clean. Okay, there's a dagger in there. Is that a defensive dagger? I think they, st they stack up um, separately. Yeah, yeah, they stack up in the defensive items. You don't need to keep them... Make space for them. So, um, we pretty much came in here to get a dagger. So, we can defend ourselves quite a bit against the zombies with those knives. Um, I think there was another door we went past, wasn't there? Before. Yeah, this one. I used a lockpick. Okay, so some doors you just automatically open with the lockpick. I think this might be a kitchen. <laughs> Just by, that's my guess for the door. Like a heavy door, you know? No, it's outdoors. Okay. Completely wrong. Another court. Dog. There's a dog there. There's so many things to pick up, isn't there? Look at this. So this is where I'm going to come back at some point to win. There's still plenty of carrots here. So that's like a generator, I guess. No. Can't even pick that up anyway. 
Okay. So the dogs are out there. The zombie dogs. You want to avoid them, I think. I think trying to fight one of them is going to be very dangerous. So let's continue to explore this corridor. God, hope dogs don't jump through windows. <laughs> okay, there's another door we can go in. What a strange room. Is that a dagger? How many of these could you pick up? That's three of them I've got now. It's quite good. I think when, oh, there we go. We've got an ink um, thing. You have to save. Oh, they stack, right? Oh, so every time you pick one up, you get three of them. So I've got six now. That's quite good. We've only found one typewriter, though, and I think that's in the dining room. It looks like there's nothing else in here. We've inspected it all. I think I should... Yeah. I keep hearing, like, zombies as I open doors. But there was none there. Now, which way were we going? This... I can't remember. I think we're going the other way. Yeah, we haven't been this way. Oh my god, this place is huge, isn't it? I think we're still on the ground floor, aren't we? <laughs> More st oh, zombie there, hello. This guy's gonna have to get shot, isn't he? Drop! Nice. You dropped, didn't he? Yeah, you did. So, like, on average, you take like two to three bullets to drop them. I don't know where I'm going here. I'm, I'm, I'm lost now. I've been that many different places. Okay, there's a typewriter here. So we can save here. Um, I think we'll save here, actually. Because this is the first save I've done. <laughs> so it'd be good to, if we do die, we come back here, you know, instead of... Alright, so we've saved. Oh, there's things to pick up here. There's more ammo. Oh, is this the chest you can... So you can put things in here, that's really good. I think we may as well just carry all the ink ribbons, right? If we can stack them all. Always have a slot for ink ribbons. Survival knife, do we need that? Is that ever going to be useful? I think it's pretty weak, you know, and you're, you're almost going to get hit every time you try and use it. I think it takes practice to get good with it. So we can put some some things in. What should we put in there? We'll keep the mixed herbs in case we get take damage. Let's put the knife away. Um, see, these things could be useful at any point. Keep them for now. Let's pick up this. Let's just see what it is. The fuel canteen. Yes. See, I don't... Uh, when I get to uh, um, a place where I need to use an item... Okay, we looks like we can fill that with the kerosene we found outside, outside actually. So we'll leave it there for now. And maybe backtrack and fill it, fill it up. Um, so we've got an empty slot for now. I think what we'll do is we'll just fill up all... Oh god, that was close. <laughs> we'll just fill up all our... Um, I think oh, this is where we've been here, right? Have we been here? Yeah, this is where the broken doorknob was. I don't know where I'm meant to be going though, you know. Okay. So I think this was locked, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> now, was there anything to pick up? Oh, I didn't realise we picked up the spray. I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Alright, guys, actually, I'm going to end it here, and I'm going to faff around, pick up items that we've come across that we could pick up at the time, put it all in the chest and come back and forward between there to um, get things done in the mansion. So thanks for watching guys, see you next time, bye!